Hi everyone, my name is Jeff Dutton. I'm a web developer with the Student and Academic Services Group here at Athabasca University. This video uh, today is a uh, short video to show you how to create the page that we're looking at here within the Alfresco environment but using a free marker template. Um, so this page essentially uh, contains a single uh, H1 tag that holds the book title. Uh, the second element or item we see here are our chapter title. Uh, this page can contain one or more chapter titles uh, contained within an H2 tag and each chapter can contain one or more paragraphs that are contained within a traditional HTMLP tag. Now this document is based off uh, an XML file which Alfresco creates when a web form is filled out. As you can see by looking at this XML document we have a root element of book with a attribute of title and uh, each book has one or more chapter elements. Each chapter has exactly one title element and each chapter can have one or more paragraph elements, uh, in this case para. Uh, so this would be one part of building a web form within Alfresco. The other required document uh, would be the transformation file. And in this case, it's the free marker file that we're looking at. Uh, as you can see, a free marker is similar to HTML. Uh, it is a simple language to use. Um, we start off by assigning um, or, or using what's called an FTL tag or a directive, in this case an assigned directive. Um, so each tag starts off with a pound sign, the directive name, um, and we'll show you uh, within a window below um, resources that will list the available directives within the FreeMark language. So. Uh, what we're doing here is instantiating a variable called DOM with another variable called name. Name is associated with the uh, Alfresco form field that we fill out to name the file that we're creating. Hence, uh, we use the variable called name. Uh, so carrying on, the way we uh, extract the information from the XML into the rendered HTML is by interpolation. And interpolation is shown really by the syntax uh, that's highlighted. We have a root element of the book, uh, which uh, has an attribute title, and attributes uh, are designated by using an at sign. So the syntax to interpolate that within the HTML is highlighted here. Essentially, it's everything is contained within curly brackets and preceded by a dollar sign. Uh, which uh, then is uh, encapsulated by the H1 tag. Okay, so uh, as we have discussed a little earlier, each book obviously has more than one chapter, so we need to have a way to extract those chapters, and we use what's called a free marker directive uh, entitled list. Uh, list uh, essentially does that. It uh, will take uh, items that repeat themselves within an XML document and render it within the HTML page. So in this case again we have the root element of book and we have several elements called chapter and uh, we are going to associate that with a new variable called C. So for each C that we run across within the XML file we'll interpolate it within H2 tags and we'll extract each chapter's element of title. Uh, and uh, as indicated earlier as well, uh, each chapter uh, has more than one paragraph, obviously. And we do the same sort of thing. Uh, in this case, though, we're using the variable C, which is associated with the element chapter. We're extracting the element paragraph, or para, and associating it with a variable called P. And so each P uh, is interpolated within our P tags in the rendered HTML document. Um, we then close each list tag and uh, of course as with uh, any tagged language uh, everything needs to be well formed so you can't have uh, malformed tags or nested tags. Um, this again is a very very simple example I'll be creating further videos in the future uh, illustrating uh, you know a few more uh, complicated examples. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.